Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Twitterism Views. Twitterism Views mein khush aamdeed, bakhair aagle. So guys, how are you all? I hope all is well and nobody sick, nobody ill. So friends, in today video we will talking about water chemistry, water cooling tower. But before that, uh, please subscribe our channel, click on the bell icon so that our more videos can be reach you first. So we basically just uh, what is water before that we were talking about water uh, or cooling tower. So basically when within an industrial process there are thermal cycle necessary to carry out the process for example temperature are generated by, uh, by process e.g. Uh, heating oil pressure. Now it is necessary to remove unused heat are produced in excess in order to continue the process. So uh, for the, that now what is water? Water a substance composed of chemical element hydrogen and uh, oxygen and existed in gaseous liquid and solid state. Okay, So uh, chemical formula of water is H2O boiling point uh, is 100 degree centigrade. So the boiling point what is boiling point the boiling point of liquid uh, is the temperature at which the, it start to change into stream or vapor. For example the boiling water uh, the boiling point of water is uh, 100 degree centigrade. So what is melting point? Melting point of water is zero. So melting point uh, that which is so that the temperature that which uh, at which a solid and liquid phase are at equilibrium. Uh, so that is called melting point. Now density, density uh, uh, chemical formula is uh, P is equal to M by V uh, mass per unit volume. So density of water is uh, 997 kg per meter cube. So water chemistry <coughs> now we are talking about so, surface of water or type of water so surface of water river reservoir streams lake or ponds so rivers uh, and uh, reservoir uh, that water which we collect and store or uh, stream water is uh, used for uh, irrigation agriculture lake water is that water which uh, which uh, covered by su surrounded by land or pond Okay, ground water, shell or deep well water, saline water, sea or ocean and s or salty lake like uh, uh, salty like uh, Arabian Sea, Dead Sea and uh, uh, these are salty water. So west and effluent water, municipal west, uh, municipal west uh, actually the water uh, that is called tap water actually the public water this is called the public water so industrial affluence industrial affluence uh, water is just like the outflow of water from manufacturing and <coughs> industrial process so that is called influent water gray water is basically that water which we use in our home like in sink uh, in washroom in bathroom etc so water chemistry surface water more suspended so <coughs> solids uh, uh, it's mean more sus uh, suspended solid like uh, the, the, these solids are uh, um, uh, separated easily can be easily so lake water large quantity of organic matter ground water high dissolved solid sea water is the most impure form of natural water that we know it contain 3 to 5 percent of dissolved salt out of which 2.6 uh, percent is sodium chloride NaCl so <coughs> so the uh, actually uh, we the suspended solid uh, the, the the small and large particle in water which can be which can be uh, separated easily so that is suspended solids so now because of environment regulation of zero plant discharge, water cost and water scarcity, some plant use saline or sea water or effluent as cooling water. Why water? Why water? Why we are using water in cooling tower in cooling purpose? Capacity of holding heat is very high. Effective means of heat transfer, very efficient 
in absorbing <coughs> and releasing heat with change in temperature availability large of availability in water uh, of water is in uh, on the earth so for your information about 71% on the earth surface is water covered and the ocean hold about 96.5% of all earth's water water also exist in the air as vapor, water vapor uh, in river and lakes and uh, and glacier in ground as soil moisture and aquifer and even in you <coughs> so the water planet there are 71 percent cover in on the earth. the global ocean covers 71 percent earth surface uh, but uh, the land mass uh, covered 29 percent of earth surface so basic chemistry of water is dissolved solids dissolved gases suspended solids organic and inorganic so dissolved solids are uh, first we will talking about the ph ph is actually uh, the power of hydrogen p uh, abbreviation is the power of hydrogen and uh, so basically the acidity are uh, base basicity uh, which is uh, 0 to 14 but 7 is uh, neutral above the 7 is uh, uh, above the 7 is uh, actually um, base and below the 7 is uh, acid so indicate the degree of acidity and alkalinity of solution range 0 to 14 with neutral 7 just uh, before uh, now add substance having more it's positive hydrogen positive ion will reduce ph for example acid uh, add substance having more OH negative will increase ph for example sodium hydroxide now effect of ph control of ph is critical low ph corrosion high pH scaling the effectiveness of many bios biocide also depend on pH therefore a high or low pH is P pH uh, yani power of hydrogens may elevate with the growth of microbiological problem range of cooling water is uh, 8.0 to 8.5 now what is corrosion corrosion is a new new uh, corrosion is a natural process that convert a refined metal into a more chemically stable from such as oxide hydroxide or sulfide it is gradual destruction of material by chemical or electrochemical reaction with their environment so, corrosion so these uh, this is called corrosion <coughs> on metal so scaling what is scaling dissolve calcium and magnesium salt or primarily responsible for the most scaling so this is uh, a shower of uh, sink so this is uh, called scaling now dissolved gases just uh, like ammonia NH3 chemical formula of NH3 a colorless gas with the pungent smell growth of net vibe bacteria in cooling water system dissolved gases suspended solid inorganic <clears throat> non dissolved minerals silt and sand and dirt so organic vegetation oil microorganism that are causing falling and corrosion increase bio microbiological falling oil is food sources of microorganism and water when this is a small quantity in water so these uh, are sources the main sources of food of microorganism to growth for growth oil increase in chlorine demand <coughs> so this is uh, now done so thank you for watching please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon and uh, uh, inshallah i will prepare a new slide for scaling pitting uh, and corrosion erosion etc these topics uh, will be next uh, inshallah see you in next topic thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel thank you so much